Okay, so today I am gonna teach you how to make a dough ball. Yeah, a ball of dough. Okay, so dough balls are really important. Uh, a lot of recipes for any kind of dough using yeast involve shaping by making a perfectly spherical mound of dough first. Um, and that can, in a way, be one of the hardest things to do. A ball of dough is necessary in shaping pizza, bagels, bool, like any kind of bun. If you're making like morning bun, hamburger buns, brioche bun. If you're shaping one of those cool three ball things, you need, you need balls. So, uh, so let's jump in. Okay, so once you have your little rectangles, what you're going to do is see which side is the smooth side. Take the smooth side and it should be facing down. Wrinkly side up. You're gonna gather your dough corners up together, smooth side down, until it looks like a little dough purse. Flip it over. So now the gathered part is face down and the smooth part here is facing up toward the ceiling. Okay, the main idea here is to gather all the corners up into a little purse and then flip it over and tighten the purse. So you're tightening the purse strings by spinning it around and around and around and that will make a really nice surface. I was trying to think of a good visual for what you're doing to the surface of a dough ball and I came up with this plastic bag. So this is like surface tension. This is your dough and it's like this, oh, it's gross. But when you tighten up the purse strings, you're gathering up the corners of the dough and then you flip it over and make a cage with your hand and then you start rolling it. And that starts to like spin it until it becomes very, very, very like tight. And then you have all this tension and that is what you're looking for. A really smooth surface with all of the tension captured in that outside skin. So when you bake it, it rises up nice and tall and uh, it looks nice. Now make sure you have an area of your counter that has no flour on it. There should be an area that has flour in your dough pieces and then a section that has no flour so that your dough can stick to it slightly when you're rolling. Okay, now you are going to make a little cage with your fingers and press down slightly as you start to roll the dough around. Your dough should stick slightly to the surface. So that's gonna help you build the tension and that skin around the outside of the dough. Okay, once the seam on the bottom has pretty much merged together and the surface on the top is smooth and pretty tight, don't do any more rolling because then it can rip and you don't want that. Okay, now I'm just gonna do it five more times. If it's not sticking, even a little, if it's just sliding around, then you can do a little trick. Now you just need a tiny bowl of water. You're just going to slightly wet the surface of your counter. It's just enough water where my dough is sticking slightly, but it's not getting slippery or soggy. Remember, gather your corners, add a little water if it's not clinging to the surface. Don't go too far or else the surface might rip. All right, that's it. Now you know how to make dough balls for the rest of your life.